Yeah. What's up you guys? We are at Fit Club. Haven't been here in quite a while. You guys always see us shooting content here, so we had to come back and show Mariah Fit Club since she's never been here before. She always just gets to see all the content we shoot here. So we're gonna head in and do a shoulder workout today and a little bit of pictures and whatnot here. And as you can tell today, I feel a lot better than yesterday, a lot fresher and more energy. So let's get to it. This morning it was like, What's you up? guys already know him. He's been training. You guys, have we seen don't, all we the don't need masks here. You can take that off. We're, we're a mask-free zone, baby. <laughs> okay. I'm <okay>. just kidding. What are you guys shooting? We're gonna do some shoulders and then some pics with like the, yeah. the header, the headers. I mean the sweaters. I can't even speak. The, the headers. <laughs> <laughs> the sweater. The HD staffs. These ones. Oh, cool. That new new. Yeah. 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 Do you guys leave on Sunday now? Yeah. Because we're like, it's easier if we get out earlier just because like the time zone is so hard to adjust to. Yeah. So when we get there Tuesday night, it was so late. It's like midnight and then to try and wake up the next day. So we're like, let's go out Sunday. We're going to go. We leave at 1 p.m. on Sunday. Okay. Hey guys. New flavor. This is my first time trying it. Live sampling. Hibiscus tea pre-HD Elite. I'm so excited for this. It's going to be like a... Um, those like Starbucks refresher drinks, so we're gonna see how it tastes. Damn. It's so like strawberry sweet, like like florally. It's really good. Very good. I don't know what the flavor is, something that it reminds me of, like a strawberry candies or something like the little like gummy candies almost it's good very good 10 out of 10 Ooh. very good and then it has like the the iced tea kind of after flavor i taste it good. you guys nailed this flavor yeah that's really good Time for shoulders. I just tried the new Pre-HD Elite Hibiscus Tea and Wowza, seriously, unreal flavor. I cannot wait for you guys to try it. It is so, 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 so good. Um, so now that that's kicking in, that's non-stim. That's just our pump formula, um, which is gonna be good for a shoulder workout. So we're gonna start off with some lateral raises. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're gonna start with some lateral raises right now on this machine that I really like, and then we're gonna move on from there. So, exercise number one, lateral raises. Until then, not taking the foot off the gas. So tonight we still have our cardio session to do. Um, still doing the same cardio until I hit that point where I feel like, okay, this is lean enough, now we can cruise in. Probably by, I would say Sunday, I'll probably hit that point. So then it's perfect timing. Monday, once we're in Orlando, I can just cruise and relax once we're there. So that's the game plan for now. 
back to the sets. What's the difference between doing it that way and the other way? It really just depends on how you feel it best. Personally, I have some rotator cuff and shoulder issues, so when I do it the regular way, it puts a lot of pressure on my shoulder joint, and sometimes it clicks and it's uncomfortable. By doing it like this, I can lean into it, and I'm focusing on pushing like up and into the movement. So I find for me, it just takes the pressure off of my shoulder joint, and I feel it better in my actual shoulder. So it's kind of like a, just a variation you can do. You can do it regular way too, but I like it better this way, personally. Oh, what was the notification you just got? It was on the Olympia page. What's it say? It says, after her runner-up finish at last year's Olympia and her victory last weekend in Columbus, has Jennifer Doria emerged as the favorite to take the Bikini Olympia crown next weekend in Orlando? Tune into the live stream next weekend to find out. My name is Quentin Aria, and I am an IFBB Pro bodybuilder. My goal this year is to do whatever it takes to reach the Mr. Olympia stage. As elite athletes, we train with this goal in mind for our whole lives. And to be successful, we have to prioritize our health and performance using the best products on the market. This is why I trust HD Muscle Supplements. HD Muscle Supplements help me perform at my best while taking care of my overall health. HD Muscle, whatever your goal is. Update, it's nice and sunny, golden hour right now outside. We're just wrapping up and it is 6.03 p.m. So we're gonna head home, eat, go do our last cardio session tonight. But we just finished up shoulder workouts and some pics and whatnot. And you guys saw me test out the new flavor of Pre-HD Elite, which I cannot wait for you guys to try. Seriously, just wow, unreal. It was like when I tried, it was like a flavor, like fireworks. We need to insert like some fireworks in here. <laughs> but yeah, so we are eight days out, working hard day by day and just getting through the day right now because my energy levels are pretty low by the end of the day, but it's okay, we're almost there. And we're gonna finish meal prepping, packing, all that kind of stuff tomorrow for Orlando, get our nails done, and all the last minute touches. So that's all for today. Thanks for tuning oh, along. Tell them about the sweaters, brand new. Oh yes, you guys, the new sweaters. You guys have probably seen me wearing these and posting with these ones. These are our new sweaters. There's a crew neck cropped one, and this is the full length hoodie. They are champion sweaters, so really good quality, really comfortable. They're warm and super cozy. On the Just website. went live, so you guys can go on HD Muscle and grab them. You can use code Dory to save. And as always, thank you guys for the support. And pick up any other supplements that you guys are in need of. Don't forget your Vita HD because we can all benefit from that. Hmm. What do you think, Jen? I'm super happy with how I look. I feel like each show, <coughs> I feel like each show, my legs have come down a little bit in size and they've just gotten leaner, so it ends up just making me look even more balanced proportional, so I'm, I'm happy. I think in terms of body fat levels, obviously this is the leanest I've been because it's the longest I've been dieting um, in terms of this season. Tampa was my first show, wasn't quite lean enough there. Nashville, we came leaner. I could just been a little smidge tighter in my, my legs. Not really my glutes, but my legs. Um, and then at the Arnold's, we brought my legs down a little bit more. Here, we're gonna bring them down a little bit more, and I think we should be able to hit that 100% mark for the Olympia. Tampa was probably like 80% of my best. Nashville, 88, 89%. <laughs> Arnold's, I would say like 90%, just because um, hormonally, I didn't feel 100% with my waist, but I was happy with my legs and everything else. And then Olympia, we should be at 100% for sure because here I feel like 95% and I haven't even gotten my tan and all that stuff done, so on track. Okay. Cardio is gonna be reduced down to 45 minutes in the morning, 45 in the evening. So just an incline treadmill. I'm doing an incline of 10, a speed of three to 3.5. And we're just gonna do a light cardio walk here and then go eat breakfast because I'm starving. But for now, cardio first. Off to do this guy. And yes, I have a cutting board. I'm just right now in a rush and don't feel like 
making extra dishes, so, whoops. We are getting prepared to travel tomorrow, so I'm just cooking up a ton of ground chicken breast. This is like five packs. So I just put every single pan filled with it, basically as much as I could. And then once this is cooked to my liking, I'm just gonna let it cool, portion it in Ziploc bags, put it in the freezer, and then tomorrow we'll just pack that with us. And then just throw it in the fridge once we get there. And that way I don't have to worry about cooking food once in there, um, because we don't have a kitchen in the hotel anyways. And I don't have to worry about trying to like order food or wonder what's in the food because I'm cooking it myself. That is called multitasking. I'm always multitasking. She is. A million she is. things at once. She's the best. I'm always running like. Well, I love it. Mark is trying to be very nice for today's video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he's just, he's not stressed now that he got his, his suit. Yeah, he's happy he got his, his Do you want to show people your suit? No, 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 no. He goes, no, 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 no. It'll debut on Saturday night. Saturday night? What can we expect? Tom Ford of Versace, head to tilt. What's up? <laughs> get in a really quick back workout and then go home to finish meal prepping, laundry, packing, do my hair. I gotta dye my roots and wash my hair. So we got a lot to do. Everything. Everything. Guys, Phoebe just won the Arnold UK. I'm so happy for her. I feel like I could cry right now just watching her. Oh, she did it. Our girl, Phoebe, we're so proud of you. You deserve this and I know how hard you've been working for it. Honestly, I'm like gonna cry. I'm so proud of you. I love it. So she's qualified for Olympia now next year. for some reason doesn't feel like Saturday. No. It feels like a Friday or a Thursday maybe. <laughs> when I'm hangry, it's just like a fire burning inside my head, but that's all. Okay, so this is my meal prep, what I do. This is all ground chicken breast that you guys saw me cooking earlier this morning. I put it into a big container, let it cool, and then I portioned each one into little Ziploc sandwich bags. So it's gonna take up a lot less space than bring it in Tupperware and bringing a million Tupperware containers. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get all the air out of it. These bags are not the good ones. Dang it. What the heck? There we go. And this way it just takes up a lot less room when you travel. And then I'll just put them all into one bigger freezer bag. So I usually just use like a big freezer bag and once I have all these, I'll just throw them in here. I'm gonna put that in the freezer tonight and then just leave out the meals I need for tomorrow so that, that way they're defrosted. This way the rest of these will stay frozen while I travel and then I can just throw them into the fridge once we get to the hotel. And that is the easiest way you can travel with your food. That is Monday through Saturday's worth of ground chicken breast. Then I have some chicken that I'm gonna cook in the barbecue and I'm gonna do the same thing, put it in a, probably just a big freezer as a black bag because I, I can portion that out at the hotel. And then this just goes right in the freezer. Put it down there for now. Voila.